Hello and welcome back to another episode of Language Player's how-to series. In this video, I'll explain to you how you can study words by level in various languages. Let's get started. Let's move on to the next item in the dictionary menu, and that is HSK words. Of course, this is going to be shown differently according to the language. In Chinese, the words are grouped according to the HSK levels. If you go to, say, Japanese study, then you see that this is shown as JLPT words. If you, for example, switch to German, and now this is shown as C for words. Anyhow, so this tab is a navigator for words according to their levels. Let's go back to Chinese. So we can see the words grouped in the chunks. So each little chunk is one level. So each little block uh, symbolizes one word. So if you tap on HSK1, it will expand all the lessons of HSK1 according to the HSK1 standard course and uh, the Chinese Zero to Hero video courses. So for example, in the HSK standard course, HSK1 uh, or Chinese Zero to Hero HSK1 uh, in lesson seven, if you tap on that, we have three dialogues three or three parts and each part has these terms. So if you, for example, tap on the word Xingqi right here, and you're taken to the dictionary entry of this word. If you go back, um, you might want to actually learn all these words, right? For Like you want to be able to paginate through them. If you want to learn all of these words one by one, you can use the learn these words feature. So if you press on learn these words, then you see HSK 1, lesson 7, part 1, vocabulary. Uh, you can use the star symbol to save the words you want to your word book, uh, or uh, you can simply uh, tap on flashcards right here. If you tap on flashcards, then it will show you the words in a paginating interface. So you see one of five, you can go to the next one, two of five, Xing Qi, and the next one, Qing. Right? You can use this flashcard feature to test yourself as well. So this is a way that you can learn these words. Um, you can go to the next word and then, hmm, do I remember that? Okay, which one is it? Okay, flip. Okay, that's Yue. And then you uh, go to the next one and you flip it. That's how. So uh, this way you can go through these word, uh, these five words in HSK once, lesson seven. Let's go back. Uh, and if you want to go through the entire lesson seven, you can um, navigate to the bottom. And here there's a button that says, learn all words in lesson seven. If you press on that, then uh, you see the entire words, uh, the entire list of words for lesson seven, and then you can press on flashcards. And now uh, you see one of 12, and you can then paginate through all 12 of them. And you can flip these flashcards to test yourself. All right, so let's go back to words by level. And of course you can use these star symbols to save these words. These words will then save to your word, uh, word book. If you press on more and my words, you can see all these words you've saved. And you can use ChatGPT to help you generate a story with these words. You can also use the action button to export to CSV and import into Anki or to Quizlet or to whatever app you prefer. All right, so this is how you can navigate the levels in a language player. Right? So keep in mind that each level in the Chinese, uh, Chinese Zero to Hero or HSK curriculum, each level has twice as many words as the preceding level. That's why the, uh, the, blocks, gets, uh, the, the blocks get bigger and bigger and bigger as you move uh, to uh, higher levels. If you want to look at HSK 1 to 7 words, then you have to use the next feature I'm going to introduce to you, uh, which is phrasebooks. You just go to phrasebooks and then you scroll down um, to HSK 7 to 9. 中文, 考试, HSK 7 to 9 words right here. And then you can study these as phrases, which I will cover in the next video. And that's how you can browse through words of various difficulty levels in Language Player's Dictionary. I'll see you in the next video.